And I'm Sharon Jit Lale in London, also on the programme. And London. This is BBC World News. It's Newsday. And that was John Sopel in Tallahassee. We've got more on that story in a moment. But first, some of the day's other news. The UN Secretary General has demanded an immediate end to fighting in the Syrian uh, rebel-held enclave of eastern Ghouta, describing it as hell on earth. More than 300 people have died there since Sunday in government-led airstrikes. Here is some strong reaction from the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. And also making news today, in Nigeria, more than 100 schoolgirls are still missing after an attack by the Islamist uh, militant group Boko Haram on Monday. Let's take a look at some of these stunning uh, pictures now, which is uh, really a very soft form of frost. It's known as rime, and it's given an aura of a uh, fairy tale to this beautiful landscape of uh, Mount Huhua in uh, East China's Anhui province. It's caused by a combination of high humidity and very low temperatures. So ice crystals coat the three tops, uh, while a sea of clouds actually shroud the mountains. And that was David Willis talking to Rico earlier. Now, the Hong Kong pop star Denise Ho has told the BBC she's been denied a performance permit in Malaysia over her views on gay rights. Homosexuality is illegal in the country and a minister has said artists have to comply with what he called local values. Catherine Armstrong reports. Well, thank you for staying with us. I'm Sharon Jeet Lale in London. Our top stories. And now, Sharon, what's trending? Well, quite a bit, Rico. In fact, uh, I know a lot of people have been watching the Winter Olympics. Uh, you certainly have, I'm sure. Uh, and curling has uh, captured the imagination as one of Now, on to another very interesting story, and this is uh, experiments by NASA to grow wheat in space, which is essentially inspiring scientists in Australia to see if it'll work on Earth. By changing how much light plants get, they can speed up crop cycles by over 50%. Now, it's of massive importance since the world has to produce up to 80% more food by 2050 to feed 9 billion people. We've got more on that uh, story in a moment, but first, some of the day's other news. The UN Secretary General has demanded an immediate end to fighting in the serial, uh, Syrian rebel-held enclave at Eastern Ghouta, describing it as hell on earth. More than 300 people have died there since Sunday in government-led airstrikes. Here is some strong reaction from the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. And also making news today, in Nigeria, more than 100 schoolgirls are still missing after an attack by the Islamist militant group Boko Haram on Monday. Now, the Hong Kong pop star Denise Ho has told the BBC she's been denied a performance permit in Malaysia over her views on gay rights. Homosexuality is illegal in the country and a minister has said artists have to comply with what he called local values. Catherine Armstrong has more. From glass bridges to experiments by NASA to grow wheat in space. Well, it's been inspiring scientists in Australia to see if it'll work on Earth. By changing how much light plants get, they can speed up crop cycles by over 50 percent. It's of massive importance since the world has to produce up to 80 percent more food by 2050 to feed 9 billion people. Well, I spoke to Dr. Lee Hickey. He's a senior research fellow from the University of uh, Queensland Centre for Crop Science to find out how NASA inspired this research. 